<laughs> the triangle stand is cute. Yeah. You're such a girl. It looks like a. It looks like one of those dinner bell things. I've always kind of wondered if I had kids too early in life, and now it's official. I definitely did because they just came out with these bikes, and now my kids are too old for them. But this would be sweet. Like these. Can you get back in my? You guys are so new at this. If we would have had these when my kids were younger, that would have been so sick. These just came out. These are electric peewee, basically. I don't think that's what they're called. I'm trying to explain. What's the official name, Lillian? MCE2. MCE2 and EE2. So yeah, PW equivalent. What I was trying to explain. Always come out the cool stuff once you're too old for it. <laughs> I know, so right? Annoying. That's how I felt about like Cobras. They started looking real. They used to be the ugliest bikes on the track. No, no, look at them. And now, yeah, look at the Cobras now. The Cobras are freaking sick. Those things look bad AF. I guess I am lucky that I'm moving up to a 125 when they're fuel injected and have a E start. So. Mm -hmm. That's true. We lucked out with Lillian having an E start on a 125. Yeah. But they literally came out with the electric 50s right as Mason went up to a 65. <laughs> Mason gets off, off the 65, they update the 65. Literally looks like a mini I, know. I think they're doing it on purpose. Yeah. This isn't a conspiracy, guys. It's they're right literally updating their bikes as we move up. These things are only uh, like $2,100, which is crazy because no KTMs cost less than 5,000 at least. All the KTMs are above 5,000. This is only $2,100, which is basically what I spend a month in gas. That is not a joke, that is a natural fact. Basically with the money you're gonna save with it being electric and you don't have to pay for air filters, you don't have to pay for oil, you don't have to pay for gas. This bike basically pays for itself. Any financial advisor would tell you you need to buy this bike. You know what would be nice is if you could charge it at a Tesla charging <laughs> Okay, Lillian, are you done Snapchatting? I want you to pick it up, pick it up, no, no, like grab it all the way, pick it up all the way. How high can you hold it? <laughs> okay, Luke, come pick it up. All right. Okay, Mason, pick it up. How heavy is it, Luke? What's up? We're uh, <laughs> nice. we're uh, demonstrating how light it is. This thing Mason, is awesome. You know it's nice. <laughs> it doubles as gym equipment for dad. All right, how many times do you think I can curl it? Four. Four. One. One. Ten. Really? I was gonna say ten, but I don't know. Ugh. You don't break oh, it. Struggling. Two. Three. People are watching, but that's okay. Four. I win. Five. Oh, no. I should take my, if I wasn't wearing my hoodie, oh, uh, yep. I could probably do more. Yep, what they all say. <laughs> uh, okay, six and a half. Dad, and I was out Mason one. So all if any moto dads guys. out there have a little kid and they need to, you know, Dad. get a oh. workout in once in a while. At Loretta's all the 50 dads. This thing is basically like the next step up from a Stasic type bike. Like this one right here, that's the next move up. Don't get me wrong, like Stasics are cool, but come on, that thing looks like, it looks like a, you're about to go ride your bike to your friend's house, or you're gonna go ride to the park or something. This thing does not look like you're gonna go to the park. That thing looks like you're gonna go win a supercross race. Look at the kill switch. The kill switch is magnetic. Bam. You attach this to your little guy, you wrap it around his hand or his neck or whatever, lots of options. Kid falls off the bike. Oh no, what do we do? Bike's gonna drag the kid? Nope, I don't think so. Bike dies. Just like my hopes and dreams. Okay, Lillian, tell us something amazing about these bikes. Just like my bike, you could change like the mode on it as different maps. You have to take this off to change it. So that way the kid doesn't change it on accident when he's at, when he's like in map one and then he accidentally changes it to map three and next thing you know he's in a bush. Go to green, green's fast. Sweet, and then you put that back on in order to make it go.
try one more time. <laughs> a for effort, dude. You didn't give up, man. You kept going. Dude, check this out. Axel Hodges, he's out with a broken femur. Luke's taking his place right now. Woo! Oh yeah, by the way, get well, Axel Hodges. These things have a max speed of 20.5, I think, like almost 21 miles per hour. I could run faster. Which is as fast as Luke can run. Okay, well, it's faster than Usain Bolt can run. Dang it, I was wrong. <laughs> Usain Bolt miles per hour. Do you guys want to guess what it is? That's 27.8. Usain Bolt can run faster than these things. Sorry guys. Do not rob Usain Bolt and think you're getting away on one of these. You're gonna need you're gonna need a uh, 50 for that. We've actually never had a PW, so we might not be the best people to ask, but it actually seems pretty quick. This thing seems faster than what I would think a PW would be. It's definitely faster than like the, the TTR 50 that we had, right? Is it faster than the TTR 50? Yeah. Mason, a uh, question, how's it turn? Good. Actually, it looks pretty pretty good. Like, you could actually like carve pretty good on it, huh? All right, so if you guys want to pick up one of these bikes, come on down to Edge, tell them Vlog Epicness sent you, and dude, I'll even hand deliver it. You buy one of these here? Hand deliver, guys. I will, I will deliver it to your house, anywhere in Utah, or some neighboring states. Not Nevada, it's too hot, and not Colorado, it's too cold. Ugh.